Hey guys, here with another real time workout recording for you. So this is a 33 minute full body high intensity interval training cardio workout. So the way this workout is structured is we have our usual five minute warm up, 10 exercises, 30 seconds each, no rest. Then we get into our full body hit workout. So we have 12 different exercises. We are doing straight sets and three sets per exercise of 30 seconds work, 15 seconds rest. And there is a bonus 30 second recovery between exercises. So including the last 15 second rest, that is 45 seconds rest between exercises, taking the total workout time to 33 minutes. And then at the end of the workout, we went into about 10 minute dynamic stretch cool down. So you don't need any equipment for this workout, but I highly recommend a soft surface such as yoga or exercise mat for comfort as we are on the ground for some of the exercises, but it's not strictly necessary. You do not require shoes, but they can be worn for comfort if you prefer as there is impact and jumping involved. You 100% definitely will need a sweat towel and a water bottle though. So grab those and let's get into this 33 minute full body high intensity interval training cardio workout. All right, so we can just get started with warm up and we'll just be starting with regular jumping jacks. That's connected. Alrighty. So just regular jumping jacks. Got a lot of jumping, not big plyometric moves tonight, but a lot of bouncing on the calves. So we need to get them nice and warm. Warm up the legs, warm up the core. And the upper body is going to get some work as well. We've got full body. Let's get it all nice and warm. So quick arm movements, squeezing the shoulder blades together, light on the feet. All right, go into our boxes skip. So opening up the hips, shuffling feet to feet, side to side, and we'll get some arm swings going as well. Stretch the chest and back, get those shoulders moving. Light on those feet, opening up the hips. Nice work. Alrighty, run a right leg. So left leg half squat support position. Right leg pistoning nice and quickly, using the core and hip flexor to drive that knee. Arms pumping nice and quick. Get the blood flowing in the upper body. Keep that chest up. Nice work, push the ground away from you. Pump the arms, piston that knee. Side to side windmill, arms and legs wide, come down. One side, tap the inside of the foot and shoot across. Side to side, hold for a second at each side, stretching the groin of that straight leg, then drive across, squeeze the glute to push you, keep the hips back and down, chest facing the ground the whole time. Good work. And run a left leg, so right leg half squat support position, left leg pistoning this time, get a little bit lower in that half squat now that that right leg's warm. Piston those arms, get the biceps working, shoulders warm, drive that knee, good work. Push the ground away from you, nice and light on that foot. All right, back kicks, so heel to butt, light on the feet, keep the chest up, hips forward, Activating those hamstrings. They're gonna need a lot of work tonight. Let's get them walking up and working. All right, good work. Nice and light on those feet. All right, squats to backwards arm circles. So arms come down, open as we come down and cross as we come up. Get nice and deep in the squat. Drive the ground away from you. Flex the hips forward. Swap to forward circles. Open the chest and then close it. Big circles with the arms. Get those shoulders warm. Inch one. Come to the end of your mat, fold over. Walk it out. Drop the hips, stretch the abs, 
and hip flexors and come back. Keep the legs straight. So you stretch the hammies on the way up and down. Good work. Ooh, core is tight. Nice. Hold that stretch at the bottom for a second and arch back. Stretch those abs out. All right, squat to open the gate. So you squat, stand up, raise the knee open and swap. So the knee comes up straight, opens to the side and down. Trying to keep our balance. So just opening up the hip. Good work. Drive up, open and down. And A skips the finish. So high knee with a double bounce on the straight leg. Bring the knee up to hip height chest up and that little calf bounce pump the arms as well core tight back straight good work righty great work that's our warm up done grab a quick drink take off any layers you need go 12 exercises, straight sets, three in a row, 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off, and then a bonus 30 second recovery. So including the last 15 second rest, that's a 45 second rest between exercises, 12 in total, as I said, three sets per exercise. So starting off, our first exercise, we just have pop lunges. So we start with our feet together, we pop up, down into a lunge, hips go up and down in a straight line, back knee just touches the ground or hovers above it, front knee stays above the ankle, then you pop up, feet back together and swap legs. So it's just up and down like that, alternating legs each time. So let's get going with those. Make sure you're spreading your feet far enough apart that you can get a 90 degree bend in both knees and that the front knee doesn't go forward, you keep it over the ankle with the hips going backwards. Use the arms to help you. Drive the ground away from you by driving through the front foot. Hammy and glute activated as well as the quad. Core tight, chest up. Good work. Lovely. One down, two to go. Straight sets. So exact same thing again, shake the legs out. Remember, keep that back straight, core tight. Let's go. So that back leg is bending. If you can, you're going all the way down to the ground with that knee. Make sure the feet go back and forward at hip width apart so they're not one behind each other. That will help with your balance. Good work. Keep the chest up. Nice and tall. Ooh, good work. Two down, one to go. Shake it out. Quads on fire. Alrighty, last set. Here we go. So there's work periods. Meant to be long enough that it burns at the end, but that you can kill, keep going with good form. There's a long recovery between exercises, so really push yourself. Good work. Nearly there. Three seconds. And rest. Whew, good work. 45 seconds. Breathe it out, towel off. Walk around, shake the legs out. You can hold this buzzer. Alright. Next exercise in 25 seconds. We have a dead stop, chest to ground burpee. So, start at the front of our mat. Hands down, feet back, plank, drop, 
chest to ground, lift the hands off the ground to hold all momentum, push up, jump up, little spring to the feet. All right, three seconds, let's go with those. So catch the plank, lower slowly, hands up, push up, feet up and bounce. So it's a slow lower, sort of like a push up rather than just completely falling to the ground. Hands up, squeeze those shoulder blades together, put the hands down, push up, bring the feet back up, spring up, chest up. Good work. Make sure you catch that plank. Great work. So when you jump back, don't just let your hips fall to the ground, catch the plank first, then lower the whole body in one nice strong line like a plank of wood. Let's go, second set. So catch, slow lower, hands up, squeeze the shoulder blades, push up, feet up, bounce. So these are slower than some other burpees that we've got coming up. They have the push up component. If you need to stay on your knees for the push up, that's fine. You come up and then bring the feet up. Just make sure you get your hands off the ground to stop the momentum. Woo, great work. All right, two down, one to go. Breathe through it. Great work. Three. Let's go. Catch, slow lower, squeeze the shoulder blades, push up. Core nice and tight. You don't want your hips bending forward and back. Core is always keeping them nice and tight. 10 seconds. And rest, great work. Ooh, 45 seconds. Lovely. Two down, 10 to go. Ignore all these buzzer coming up. Next exercise, alternating legs each time. Touchdown, sprint to lunge, to explosive knee drive. So front leg stays bent, back leg and arm go straight and touch down. Back knee comes through, drive up, then we swap. So you tap down, drive up and swap legs. So let's go. So right arm down as right leg goes back straight. Then the right knee drives through. You push off the left calf. Drive up and then swap. So the leg that goes back is straight, meaning the chest comes down onto the front thigh, touch the ground, then you explode, driving that knee through and up. Great work. Alternate legs each time. Whew. Really get those hips forward in that knee drive. So your momentum goes up. So tap back, drive up. Use the arms to help with that momentum. Really ride that knee drive. Back stays straight the whole time. You hinge at the hips as that leg goes back. Then they snap forward as you stand and knee drive. work. Lovely work. One more set of those. Breathe through it. Great work. Three seconds. Let's finish strong with these ones. So tap, drive, reset. Tap, drive. Make sure you extend that foot. Really squeeze the calf. Explode and then soft landing, ball the foot first, roll down to the heel. Use the core to help keep you steady and drive that knee through. 
Ooh, great work, 45 second rest. Quarter of the way through the workout. Lovely work. All right, ignore this buzzer. Next exercise, bit of core. We have extended arm plank to pike. So we're keeping our legs straight the whole time. We go from extended arm plank, crunch the core, lift the hips, feet come up to outside your hands a little bit behind them, but you're keeping the legs and back straight, just bending at the hips, so it's all core. So you're just back and forward like that. So let's go. So it's a full body crunch with the abs to lift those legs, keeping them straight. Then you're back. Don't let the hips drop. Catch them at plank, then come back up. If you need to pause at each position, that is fine. So you pause, go, pause, go. Once you get your rhythm, pick up the pace a little. Good work. Really activate that core consciously. Whew, good work. Mind to muscle connection. Squeeze those abs to lift those hips. Good work. Two more. Sit tight, lift, catch. You keep those legs straight. There may be a slight bend, that's all right, but you're not squatting here. You're lifting at the hip. Good work. 10 seconds. Hip flex is working here as well. Shoulders working. You got this three. Rest. Two down, one to go. Breathe through it. Stand up, stretch those hip flexors out. Five seconds, one more set. Let's go. Tight core. In, up. Every rep is a breath. Inhale as you go back to plank. Woo. Exhale as you come up to your pike. Oh, hip flexors, hello. 10, good work, five, Woo. lovely work, great work, stand up, 45 second rest, Woo. breathe, that got the sweat dripping, great work, ignore this buzzer, all right, next exercise, Explosive pop squats. So feet start together. We open them wide, drop into a squat. And we really drive through the heels, shooting up and forward, bringing the feet back together. So we're facing forward, feet are together, drop down, touch the ground, drive through the heels, up. Soft landing, let's go. So wide and up, spring, soften that landing, go again. So you're getting as much height as you can from this position. Up, soft landing. Take that second to readjust before you go down. You can do a double bounce if you need. Make sure the back stays straight and those hips go back. Chest up. It is a squat. Lovely work. Breathe, great work. So make sure you're not bending like a deadlift. That comes later. We've got squats now. So wide in that squat, butt is down, drive up, hips forward, squeeze the glutes and flex. Push the ground away from you as you squeeze those legs together. Chest stays upright, back straight, butt goes back and down then comes up forward. Good work, five seconds. Get a little higher. Lovely. Two down, one to go. Really focus on the height up out of that squat as you bring those feet together. 
Final set, let's go. So really spring up, soft landing, bend the knees, absorb it, then open again. 15. Good work. 10. Couple more, real big ones. Five. One more rep, let's go. Great work. 45 second rest. Breathe. Whew. Ignore this buzzer. Okay. Next exercise. In out burpee. So your feet go backwards in your plank together. They come up wide like we did in that pike. Then you stand up and bring them together for your jump. So you're together, feet are wide. You stand up, chest up, feet together, then wide. Join me. So make a triangle with your feet. So back together, up wide, together as you stand, then wide and back together. So this is combining that pike to plank with half a jumping jack kind of. Good work. Keep that back straight and those legs straight. Ooh. Breathe. Great work. Two sets left. So make that triangle with your feet nice and wide at the top together at the back. Then in the middle, up as you bring the chest up. Make sure you're not just going here, but you're fully standing up. Hips coming forward, chest up. So you're using those abs again, and the back to straighten the body. Uh, you've used the abs to crunch them in. Five. Lovely work. Whew. Breathe. One more set. Then we'll be halfway through the workout. Five seconds. Let's go finish strong with this one. So strong arms. Back stays flat. Again, when you go back to that plank, don't let those hips drop. Catch them with those abs. 10 seconds. Nearly there. Okay, we're at 45 second rest. Six exercises down, six to go. Walk around, ignore this buzzer. Next exercise, we're lying down on our back and we're jumping on our bike. So flat back. You crunch up with the upper body. So if you've got your arms on the handlebars, shoulder blades are up off the ground, legs are cycling. Join me. Let's go. Lower back stays down on the ground, abs are tight. Cycle those legs as close to your chest as you can, and then full extension. And that upper body is crunched with those upper abs, keeping those shoulder blades off the ground. So hold that crunch as those lower abs and hip flexors work to cycle. Five seconds. Good work. Woo. Rest. And you can rest just by relaxing and laying back. Five seconds, second set. Let's go crunch up. So there's arms up, ensure that you get that crunch. Lift them up in front of your head. Cycle those lower legs nice and quick. 
Hit them off the ground. 10. Work on your breathing. Don't hold your breath. Piston those legs. And rest. One more set of that. Good work. Whew. Five seconds, last set. Let's go, jump on your back. Go a little bit quicker this set. Feel those obliques working as you slightly rock side to side. Squeeze those abs. 15. Let's go, increase that speed. Piston those legs, come on. Five. Woo. And rest. Breathe it out. 45 seconds. Great work. Woo. Stretch it out. All right, ignore this buzzer. All right, next exercise. Star jacks with the full coming in to touch the ground at the middle. So it's not our half squat. We've got the full squat crouch to touch the ground. So we start in the middle, we're down, hands touch the ground, we come up, open all four, back into the middle. Join me in three, two, one. So down, up. Make sure your hips are going back. It's not just a hinge, so you keep the chest up. So you're not going here, it's here. Bend the knees, touch the ground. You don't really reach for the ground as much as your chest gets low enough that your arms just touch the ground. Then you spring up and open. Woo, great work. The first set done, two more to go. Breathe through it. Five seconds. So really focus on getting those knees bent. Touch that ground. Spring up and open. Everything comes forward. So you're down and then up. Core tight. Feel those calves and quads burning. That's what we want. Get nice and wide on that open and everything comes into the middle. Woo. Breathe. One more set. You're doing great. Three seconds, final set. Deep breath. As I said, keep that chest up the whole time. So you're looking ahead the whole time. You don't bend down at the hip. You bend at the knee. Sit into that narrow squat. 10 seconds. Good work, five. Finish strong. Woo. 45 second rest, great work. Breathe, walk around, shake those legs out. Ignore this buzzer coming up. Great work. All right, groin up plank switch jumps. So we're in our extended arm plank position. We jump one foot up to outside our hand and then we swap. So you can either do a bounce, so one, two, like that, or you can just spring side to side. Keep that back leg straight and join me. So back leg straight, hips square to the ground. That foot comes up, knee or wrist outside. Try and keep your hips as low as possible. So said, if you need to add in the double bounce, that's all right. Core tight. This is a tough one, I know. Just pace yourself. Go a couple straight in a row. 
So then you don't lift. Whew. Great work. Breathe. Take the weight off your shoulders and your rest. Five seconds. Let's go. So that back leg stays straight. Good work. Pick your pace. Alternate it depending on how you're feeling. So you can go full pace, then double bounce for a couple. You can go double bounce the whole time. You can get rid of the double bounce and just go slow. Hold it and switch. Great work. Stretch those hip flexors out. Final set coming up in five seconds. Let's go finish strong. This is a really tough one, I know. But you're stronger than you think you are. Push yourself. Fifteen. Ten. Five. You got this. Ooh. Rest. Stand up. Stretch those hip flexors out. This is your long rest. Good work. Breathe. Ignore this buzzer. All right, time to work the hammies. We've got a hinge, so our deadlift kind of move where we touch the ground. Then we come up, reach for the ceiling. So feet are wide, hip width apart. Slight bend in the knee, hinge, tap the ceiling. Squeeze the hammy, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the core up. Spring, reach for the ceiling. So down and up. This time it's not a squat, it is a hinge. Slight bend in the knee, hips go back. Then you squeeze the hammies and, and glutes. Snap the hips forward, chest comes up. Reach for the ceiling as my plank gets wrapped around my arm. Good work. Get that chest fully upright and those arms above your head for the reach. Rest. Brilliant work. I meant to mention, for more than three quarters through. Let's go, hinge and up. So nice quick transition. Butt goes back, butt comes forward. Arms all the way down, all the way up. Push the ground away from you. Absorb the landing, 10 seconds. Feel those hammies, push it. Five. Make sure you've got a soft landing. Breathe. One more set. Great work. Doing so good. Three seconds. Final set. Let's go. Hinge up. Back stays straight the entire time. Slight bend of the knees at the hinge. Then they straighten as the hip snap forward, chest comes up. Spring off the ground. Reach to the ceiling, 10 seconds. A little bit higher, a little bit faster, five. Rest, 45 second rest, brilliant work. Two exercises left. Breathe, five seconds. Sorry, not five seconds, ignore this buzzer in five seconds. 30 seconds. Strings working again, this time contracting. So I've got fast cross behind heel taps. So like butt kicks, except that hands are down, we touch our foot. So it's just like this. And join me. 
Whew. So keep the hips forward, feet wide. So you lift that leg diagonally backwards. Make sure you're not lifting the knee in front. You're lifting the leg backwards with the hamstring, reaching down to touch it. Keep those feet wide. Chest up, hips forward. Good work. And rest. Great work. One down, two to go. Three seconds. Let's go. So make sure you keep those feet wide. So it's a diagonal lift of that leg. Core is tight. Those hips are staying forward. You get a stretch of the quad and hip flexor here. This is all hammy and core. Great work. Keep lifting those feet nice and high. You shouldn't have to reach to touch them. They should hit your hand. Ooh. Stretch if you need. One set left. Five seconds. Let's finish strong with these. So really flick that heel up. Then extend it back down again nice and quick. Light on the feet, 15, halfway. As I said, make sure those knees don't come up in front. The leg just lifts backwards. Nearly there. And 45 second rest. One exercise left. Jumping jack burpee. He knew it was coming. All right, know this buzzer. 30 seconds. We finish with our jumping jack burpee. So opposite of the in out burpee with the feet. The feet go back together and they come up together. Then at the top, we do a jumping jack with the chest up. So hands down, feet go back together, come up together. You stand up, chest up, jumping jack, then back down. Join me in three, two, one, let's go. So back and up together, chest up, jumping jack at the top. If you need a slight bend in the knees to bring them up straight, that's completely fine. Just make sure that your feet stay together so you can then do your jumping jack. And you get that chest up when you do the jumping jack, so don't just do it here. Chest up, squeeze the glutes, open. Woo. One down, two to go, till the end of the workout. Great work. Three seconds, set two. Let's finish strong. So chest faces the ground, then it comes up, faces in front of you. Same with the hips. They face the ground, they come up, face straight ahead. Catch that plank with those hips, catch the abs. Good work. And you're strong. And rest. One more. 30 seconds of work remaining between you and the end of this workout. Five seconds. Let's finish strong. Pick up the pace. Good work. So close. Come on, a little bit quicker. The final 15 seconds. Get low in that plank. Don't leave the butt in the air. Five, give me two more reps, come on. Yes. Whew. Breathe and we are finished and exhausted. Great work. All right, 
Deep breaths. Let's get a sweaty selfie. Then we'll go into a nice stretch. All right, great work. Let's work on our breathing. Put your hands above your head, open your chest up. Inhale through your nose over three seconds. Hold for three seconds. Exhale slowly out your mouth for three seconds. Then hold for three seconds with your lungs empty and repeat. Great work again. As you towel off, sip on some water. Keep those muscles working to pump out lactic acid and keep that oxygen delivered. Woo. Lovely, alrighty. Great work. Let's see where we're at. It's gonna be pretty high. 437 calories. Great work. That is what I call high intensity interval training. All right, let's get into a bit of a dynamic stretch to cool down. Start with those hip flexors. So I don't know about you, but I am tight there. So let's go hip thrust to hinge, feet slightly wider than hip width apart, hands on our butt and push our hips forward. Take the weight of the torso through the hands, stretch back, stretch those arms and hip flexors. Keep working on your breathing, great work. And come forward, keep the legs straight as you hinge forward, back straight as well, push the hips backwards, stretch those hammies out. <sighs> Lovely work. And inhale as we come up, push those hips forward again, lean back, stretch those abs and hip flexors. Great work. And once more forward, Hinge at the hip, keep the legs and back straight. Great work. All right, stand up, come to your back of your mat. Let's do some footy kicks. So same arm and leg, nice and straight. Step forward, kick as high as you can, keeping the legs straight. So you're not bending at the knee. You're just swinging that leg forward as high as you can, stretching those hamstrings. Good work. Couple more each side. Lovely work. All right, come to the end of your mat. Let's do some scoops. So left leg forward, right leg back bend. Scoop forward and back and then step forward. Straight front leg, sink the hips down as that chest comes down, stretch the hammy, stretch the glute, stretch the calf. All right, the end of your mat, turn around. This time, instead of scooping, you're just going to grab onto the toes and pull, really get the calf. Hold for a couple of seconds and stand. Swap feet. Good work. So really pull those toes up towards your knee, flex the foot, stretch those calves out. Good work. All right, couple of supermans each side for quads and hip flexors. So right hand, grab onto the right ankle behind and pull. Make sure that you're pushing that hip forward, lean forward into it. Good work. Swap sides, lift back, straighten, hip forward and lean. Make sure you're grabbing on with the same side foot so you're not pulling the leg across the body. We don't want to put that pressure on the knee and you're also not going to get as good a stretch of that hip flexor. Swap again, sorry. So lean slightly forward to elongate that stretch if you can. Great work. And swap. Back to the left, hip forward and hinge. Great work. 
little bit of glutes, so standing pretzel, so right leg cross over the left, hands on the ankle and knee as you sit down in a one leg squat, hold at the bottom for a second and come back up, soft legs, hips go back and down, you're pushing on that knee of the crossed over leg, driving it towards the ground and stand. One more each side. Cross the right leg, squat down, push the right knee with that right hand and stand and left leg, cross over and squat down. Lovely work. All right, come to the end of your mat. A little bit more on those hammies and calves. So fold over, walk the hands out to our good old down dog position where our heels just to start come off the ground. Then we're gonna push our hips up and back, head down between the shoulders. And we're gonna pedal those feet for a half a second each, driving all the weight through the heel that's grounded, stretching those calves. Good work. Just pedal those feet. Lovely work. All right, both feet down. You're gonna come back to your extended plank position for a split second. Left leg is gonna come up like that groiner plank. Except this time we're just gonna drive the hips forward and down, but keeping that back leg straight. Stretch the hip flexor. Hold for a second. Then we're gonna straighten the left leg, keeping it where it is. Push the hips up and back and then fold the torso forward. So both legs are straight. You should feel this in the left hamstring. All right, cycle through that twice more. So bend the left leg, drop the hips down, stretch the right hip flexor, and straighten the left leg, hips up, torso down, stretch the left hamstring. And once more, bend the left leg, hips down, chest up, and straighten the left leg, hips up, chest down. Good work. Bend the left leg and then swapping legs. So take it back straight, bring that right leg up forward. So now dropping the left hip, chest up, stretch the left hip flexor. And then straighten the right leg chest down, stretch the right hammy, bit of the groin, a little bit of the glute as well. Lovely. Twice more through that, bend the right leg, hips down, chest up. And straighten the right leg, hips up, chest down. Good work. Once more, bend the right leg, hips down, chest up. And straighten the right leg, hips back, chest down. Great work. All right, bend the right leg, take that foot back, bring the left leg back up again, and then pivot your feet round so they're facing forward and your hands are down in the middle. We're now gonna bring those feet in slightly to sort of windmill position. You're going to take the left the hands and grab onto the left heel and pull yourself forward down along that left leg and then three times we're going to bend the right knee so we're going to bend the right knee sink into it and straighten so this is going to help get that groin on the left side so bend the right knee sink lower and straighten and once more, bend the right knee, sink hips back, and straighten. Good work. Walk the hands across that right side now, keeping the legs straight. Grab onto the back of the right leg, right ankle, and pull your chest and torso down to the right side. Now, three times we're going to bend that left leg. 
So bend, hold it, and straighten. Twice more, bend, feel that deep elongated stretch, and straighten. And once more, bend, and straighten. Good work. Walk those hands back to centre, heel toe those feet in just a little bit more, and then deep bend in the knees into a squat, hips backwards, chest up, elbows onto the inner side of those knees, and just push the knees back and open, and rock side to side, opening up those hips. Great work. Just small side-to-side -side motions to open up the hips and those inner groins and get nice and tight. So you don't get that stretch a little bit further. Take your hands and place them on your knees and then you can just drop one shoulder to push that knee even wider and raise. Drop the other shoulder and up. Once more each, so drop and up and then drop the other one and up. All right, heel toe those feet in so they're directly underneath your hips and then slowly stand up and we are done. All right guys, great work on completing this 33 minute full body, high intensity interval training, cardio workout and dynamic stretch cool down. If you follow along at home, I'd love to hear your feedback. It is always appreciated. And as always, keep your eyes on the page for more workouts from me over the coming weeks. Catch you guys.